All right, gang. We're all trying to make this one really short. But if you need help with some of these problems, chances are you know how to solve it. It's just sometimes a little different. But <clears throat> like for this problem with the monkey throwing a banana to their buddy sitting down here, um, and that monkey throws this banana at 3.4 meters per second to his friend, another monkey waiting at the ground on the ground for some food. But uh, the banana reaches the monkey's friend standing in the exact spot where the banana was to land. It took the banana 0 0.782 seconds to fall because I'm sure that's what they, they did and they recorded it. That's fine. Ignore air resistance. And you had to determine all this stuff, the horizontal speed, vertical speed, all that. And when we start off a problem like this and things that might just be helpful is you always start off these problems the same way. Split it up, X and Y. And list out your initial speeds on both sides. The initial speed for this one, though, is 3.4 meters per second for that banana. That's thrown horizontally. And then <clears throat> vertically, its speed is 0 meters per second because it's not thrown up or down at an angle. It's just thrown horizontally. And horizontally, it's moving at a constant speed. And vertically, it's accelerating down towards the ground at negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And so that's that part. And that's where you start. Now when you're answering questions, you really just kind of need to know what side of the problem that you need to solve things on. Keep in mind that uh, there are three equations that we've been working with. And this equation, V equals D over T, can only be used on this side. And, and these other two equations, D equals uh, VI times T plus 1 half AT squared, can be used on the Y side because in the vertical direction, it's accelerating. So you need an equation that has acceleration in it. And this equation can also be used on the Y side because it also has acceleration in it. Make sure that you keep things separate and all your X stuff is on, in one spot. All your Y stuff is in another spot. But when they say horizontal speed, you've answered stuff like this because the horizontal speed, it's constant. So that one, it's kind of given to you. So you could say something like VX equals 3.4. But for these other ones, like vertical speed, you got to solve it on the vertical side. And you need the equation for speed. Awesome. You got the equation for speed. But what people sometimes get stuck on is like, oh, man, the initial speed, got it. Acceleration, got it. Time, oh, nuts. Oh, nuts, it's not like the other ones, like we solved out for time. But hold on a second. Wait a minute. They gave you time. Oh, happy day. You didn't have to go through that whole process to actually solve out for time. So this one, they give it to you you can put that time into every single equation that has time in it. And you'll use all three of these equations to answer these other three parts. The other thing you gotta keep in mind is what exactly they're asking you for. So they ask them in different ways here. Um, like when they say how far from the base of the tree was the monkey's friend uh, sitting to catch the banana, uh, the banana. Well, when they ask you this question, they're asking for something in particular and something that you've uh, done before. It is a distance. It's a horizontal distance that they're asking you for. And another word for a horizontal distance is a range. So it's just like how you solved out for range before, but you have the time. You can use this equation to solve for that distance. And then when they say how tall the banana tree is, that's like the height. But more importantly, it is a vertical distance. If this was a horizontal distance, oops, horizontal. and you solved it on the x side, vertical distances are solved on the y side, and you have an equation that solves for distance. So you can use that. And that's kind of what you're doing in these problems, is you're kind of sorting out what it is that you need, all that kind of stuff.
And uh, sometimes that's all that people need to get unstuck on that problem. So yeah, that's that piece. And then the other piece is down here, just something to make note of with this problem. It talks about this airplane that needs to drop off some materials over here to this village. And <clears throat> when you solve it out, it's like here's the multiple choice question that shows up and that's easy, but you have to prove it, you have to show it. When you start off this problem and to answer letter A, again, you split stuff up X and Y, but on, you list out your initial speeds. Initial speed here is 51 meters per second for that uh, object that's tossed out of the airplane. And then the initial speed in the vertical direction is zero. This one's constant. And this one's accelerating down towards the ground at negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And, but what's a little funky in one, because uh, they do give you a lot of information, you don't actually need these distances to the landmarks to solve this out. What you do need is this 305 meters that the plane is above the ground. That's the height. Kind of like, and this comes back to being pretty much exactly like what you did in numbers one and two, or problems at one and two on this. And you are going to solve out for which landmark should the pilot drop it from? You're really looking at like a horizontal distance, how far horizontally that you need to drop it from. It is asking for range. So you need to answer this one, number 11 or whatever you want to call it, letter A, you are solving for range. Solve for range. They give you the height, so you're going to have to kind of work through that kind of same process, solve for T, come back, solve for the range. Yeah, that's what you'll do. And these numbers, they are not used to solve the problem. These are, one of these uh, numbers is the solution to the problem, and you will verify. That's kind of what you're doing. So, but anyways, um, that's kind of just a little help, uh, things to help out. Let your teacher know if you have other questions. All right. So you should be able to get going through it. You guys are doing awesome. All right. See ya.